Uh, Shalom, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Barashim, Yahshua, Barashim, Rekhan, Kadosh. Uh, double honors to the elder apostles, Ray Millstone, Salutation, Yoakim, teach all truth and sincerity. Um, <clears throat> I'm start this off in um, Isaiah 14, 21. Uh, this video is going to be called, The Fishers mm -hmm. Shall Become Hunters. Um, so I'm start this off in Isaiah 14, 21. It says, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Um, <clears throat> so this, um, this referred to Esau, uh, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquities of their forefathers. Cause they, um, raped, robbed and murdered, um, the nation of Israel basically the whole earth um their rulership basically um for their violence against their brother Jacob shame shall cover them and they shall be cut off forever that that's an ob slaki that's an ob diet <clears throat> that's an ob diet uh, slaki um basically um it says prepare slaughter for his children cuz reincarnation you come back every 3 or 4 generations and so you are your your children you are your forefathers that did the iniquity towards uh the so-called negroes latinos and native americans who are the children of israel so you got to basically get double what you have done unto us so you're going to basically be you're going to serve captivity for a thousand years, and then you're going to be brought down, um, completely um, obliterated off the face of the earth. Um, so this is Isaiah. I'm going to finish Isaiah 14, 21. It says, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. And... <clears throat> When Esau is basically put in captivity and serving his his sentence uh, for that thousand years, and um, he's not going to rise up out of that captivity. He's not going to possess any land. He's not going to have any face. He, he, you know, he he's going to be basically in the kingdom. Um, as a captive building our 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 kingdom building our societies from the ground up and then he's going to be cut off you know um and you know by fire you know um cuz we're going to we're fishing for the elect right now and we're soon the prophets are going to turn into the hunters. We're going to hunt for uh, the the heathen. We're going to hunt. We're going to uh, go and hunt for the uh, the jakes that didn't get um, destroyed by the nukes when when all the uh, missiles hit this earth. You know, and all the smoke settle. When we come out those cherries, we're going to go around. Uh, the earth getting you heathens and putting you in captivity and getting you jakes that uh, didn't get destroyed by the nukes. Because there's going to be jakes on the other side of the world that are either going to get down with, with the new government of the earth or get or just put, be put to death. You know, like that scripture in Matthew or is it Luke 19? I believe it's verse 27 that says... Uh, since it came to mind, um, this is Luke 19, verse 27 says, But those my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, so those that, <clears throat> that you know, those that don't want to get down with the government, don't want to get down with Yahweh ruling over them during the, that time when 
the smoke settles and all the missiles, uh, uh, you know, after the earth shook, and now now uh, the the elect in Yahweh Shai is coming out the chariots to bring, uh, you know, to come judge the earth, to come bring the kingdom on earth. Um, it says, but those my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them. So you don't, if you don't want Yahweh Shai to reign over you, the ones that are turned into the fishes that are turned into hunters are gonna hunt you down, gonna bring you before Yahweh Shai. Uh, it says, bring hither and slay them before me. So we're going to bring you before the king. And if you don't want to bow and and get down with the program, uh, at that moment, you're going to die. You know, it, it could be a heathen. It could be it could be a Jake. You know, it won't matter in that day. It'll matter if you're going to get down with the program in that day. But anyway, um, back to... Isaiah fourteen twenty one, but the um, but Esau, the um, the red Hebrew Edomite is not gonna get is gonna be taken in captivity, and he's not gonna have any um, right to say anything anyway, because he's gonna be a captive, just like these other nations. But our people, if they don't want to get down with it, the ones that don't get destroyed. Uh, with the missiles on the other side of the world, um, they're going to um, be hunted down and killed and be killed if they're not. And, you know, we're going to get rid of all the unrighteousness amongst our nation. We'll kill uh, the reprobates of our people, the ones that don't get destroyed by the missiles, you know. Um, and also, we want to get on you heathens, too. We're going to um, hunt hunt you heathens down, hunt our two thirds of our people down. Um uh, we're gonna we're going to um but I'm gonna get this one scripture that talks about um Judah, the tribe of Judah being in uh, the vicinity so like tribe of Judah um shall be in in the neck of the, their enemies, you know, um because the tribe of Judah dwells in Babylon, America. Um, the, the, a large percentage of the tribe of Judah dwells in America, which is um, where Esau uh, mainly um, is at. You know, uh, this is uh, Gen Genesis forty nine verse eight. It says, "Judah, thou art whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies." Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. So, the tribe of Judah, who are the so-called Negroes, um, they are they are set right at the neck of their enemies. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, I'm gonna go to Ezekiel twenty-five. 25 verse 14. I'm going to read that right quick. This is Ezekiel 25 and verse 14. And the tribe of Judah, a uh, so-called Negro, can easily go amongst Esau and go in and, um, um, you know, bust down his door and do something among, um, in his house right away. Because Esau... The Red Hebrew Edomite is actually moving amongst Jake, moving amongst the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, neighborhoods. They're moving near the ghettos and um, the low-income areas, you know? It makes it easy access for them, for the tribe of Judah, for the tribe of Issachar, the tribe of Ephraim, for the the, the, the children of Israel to, to go up in these their homes and you know, break in and take what they want, you know. Um, this is um, Ezekiel uh, 25, verse 14. It says, And I will lay my vengeance upon Eden by the hand of my people Israel. So, <clears throat> how about Shin Yashi is going to give um, 
uh, his 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 children the chance to um, to attack and 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 fight against these 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 Edomites and go and um, uh, bust in their door, um, take what they want, and and kill and and slaughter these Edomites, and it, <clears throat> especially because Esau can't win. The hand in hand combat with Jake anyway. Um it says, And they shall do with Edom according to my anger, according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, save Yahweh power. <clears throat> so uh and also the, the men of the Lord are gonna get that chance to um to basically uh, um to beat up you Edomites when that time comes. You know, um, like when we're given that, that, that spiritual power and you try to put your hands on us, we're going to be able to, um, we're going to be able to, uh, defend ourselves with that spiritual power, you know, um, and it's going to be Yahweh Bashan Shai giving us that power to, 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 uh, demolish you devils. For all your wickedness you've done to our nation, you know. And plus, in the race riots, Jake is going, even two-thirds Jake's are going to have a chance to, to, um, in hand-to-hand -hand combat against you, you Edomites, you know. Especially <clears throat> during the race riots, you know, during the, you know, during the time when all hell breaking loose, Jake is not going, Jake going to be, you know, fighting tooth and nail with you. You eat mice, you know. <clears throat> uh, my last scripture I want to get was um, Jeremiah sixteen and sixteen. This is Jeremiah sixteen verse sixteen. It says, "Behold, I will send for many fishers." Say the Lord, say if you how, um, and they shall fish them, and after will I send for many hunters, and the the men of the Lord that have been out here on the highways and byways, they they've been fishing for the elect. Uh the you know, they're <clears throat> we're out here fishing for the elect of the nation of Israel. Um you know, those that will hear, forbear, and take heed to the word that's being preached. Um and soon those men of the Lord that have been out here week in and week out, thirty plus years will be turned into hunters, will be turned into many hunters, hunting you two-thirds, hunting you heathens, you know, uh, getting over on you heathens, especially Esau, um, you know. And uh, it says, And they shall hunt them from every mountain, from every hill, and out of the holes of the rock. And when the elect are basically delivered into the, the chariots and can't come down, they're going to go, in those bunkers, they're going to go into those mountains. They're going to go all over the earth looking for you Edomites that are hid away and, you know, gather you up to be the first fruits of slavery. Not just Esau, but all you heathens, all you heathens that are hid away, that are tucked away somewhere. Um, <clears throat> they get didn't get nuked by those missiles. Uh, doing the doing the the earth the earth shaking, you're all gonna be first fruits of slavery. You know you're gonna be taken out of those you know out of the mountains. You're gonna be taken out of those hills. You're gonna be taken out the all the holes that you digged. Even out of the sea, you're gonna be taken out of the sea to come to to captivity. You know, so <clears throat> so I'm gonna say all praise, all the glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Bashem Bukakadash, the large to the elder apostles of Great Bill Stowe, Saitashi Waki, teach all truth and sincerity. And I would say Shalom. Um.